everybody. <clears throat> How's it going? <clears throat> My voice is still off, um, but I just wanted to share some information with you on um, some chicken today, an interesting story that just happened um, just recently in the last month. It was really um, uh, mind boggling, Jamie and I. Um, and it's about chicken. It's about the stuff that they put into chicken. Um, so just to, I guess, bring this story into full circle, uh, Jamie and I now own two Border Collie dogs. Uh, they were my parents. My mom passed away a year ago and my dad just passed away um, in August. Um, the two Border Collie dogs <clears throat> um, are now ours that we take care of and I run them every day and spend a lot of time with these dogs. So of course, I was concerned about what the dogs were eating. So I was giving them um, high quality um, trimmings from the meat that we have at the restaurant, cooking organic rice for them and mixing them, making food. Um, when I had gone to Italy back in um, November, um, I knew I wouldn't have the time to be making them food. So what I did was I bought um, an inexpensive chicken breast, a really inexpensive chicken breast uh, from one of our distributors. Um, in the meantime, we buy this very high quality chicken breast, um, Joyce Farms, you buy their thighs, you buy their chicken, really amazing product, no hormones, no antibiotics, no preservatives, really phenomenal and you pay dearly for it. It's a really amazing product. Like in the stores right now, like I see chicken breasts for like a buck 29, we pay like almost $6 a pound for our chicken breast wholesale. So that's the price gap and the difference. So I called a vendor and I said, listen, I need chicken to feed to my dogs. I'm going to be in Italy. I just need to buy some chicken to make sure my daughter and my son be able to feed the dogs and have food. So I'll cook the chicken ahead of time, this and that. So I bought this cheap chicken. It was literally $1.29 a pound chicken breast. And the way I cooked the chicken breast was I take the raw chicken breast and put it into a pouch, into a plastic pouch. Seal it airtight, cryer vac it, take all the air out, drain the chicken, take all the air out and seal it. And then we take these pouches and we drop them into hot water and we cook it at 175 degrees, 170 degrees in a sous vide circulator for four hours, which cooks the chicken perfectly. I noticed when I removed the bag from the hot water, I don't have these bags around anymore, I should have taken a picture. Um, when I moved these around, the bag was loaded with water tons and tons of liquid was in this bag and it was literally like 30 percent we actually like weighed them 30 percent of this was water and i'm like this is crazy so i didn't think anything of it um i go to italy i come back the one dog has terrible diarrhea terrible and my daughter goes oh i switched foods with them a dry food that i was feeding my dog maybe that's it i'm like okay maybe that it's they were eating the chicken and the dry food terrible so and then i noticed one of the cats had terrible diarrhea i was like this is crazy the cat's not eating the dog food that my daughter bought but the cat's eating the chicken so my staff when i was away needed to cook more chicken and they accidentally cooked the joyce farm chicken for the cats for the dog and the cats um they didn't see the other chicken there and they cooked this really expensive chicken for the dog so when i get back they're, they're now the dog's eating this and the dog doesn't have diarrhea anymore. So then I had bought more of this chicken, the cheap chicken, after I got back from Italy, cooked another round of it, noticed that it's a lot of water extracting off of it, started feeding it to the dogs and the cats again. And sure enough, the dog has diarrhea like terrible. And I'm like, wow, this is insane. Like, this is like nuts. So folks, after it's careful elimination diet, of the cats and the dogs every time i went back and forth from this cheap chicken to a higher quality chicken or higher quality meat scraps with the dog the dog had terrible diarrhea it was crazy insane i linked it to this chicken i'm like toti i give him crazy within hours crazy take him off of it for a day totally back to normal with other chicken breasts the title of or the, or the catch phrase on this video is this is crazy. It is estimated that consumers are paying $2 billion a year for salt water that is injected into the chickens. Folks, your chicken that you buy in the store, the cheaper the chicken you buy, the more it is pumped. It is pumped with an insane amount of fillers. Insane amount. It might look like it's cheaper 
to give you an example, if you're paying $3.99 a pound for chicken breast and it's pumped with 15% of this salt water solution, you're actually paying $5.50 a pound for chicken breast. That's that's the difference of the price. It goes from $4.50, $4 a pound to $5.50, like that. So you're paying the price for the chicken. You're just now paying it at a lower price filled with all these chemicals. Now, the reason why chicken does, the reason why chicken producers do this, okay, chickens are now mass produced. When you mass produce a chicken, you've modified these along the way, hybridized them, modified them along the way to grow these massive breasts. And they're leaner. They're much leaner than they have in the past. Because again, a bird that big, that plump and fat, with that little fat, took some genetically maneuvering along the way. So when you genetically maneuver stuff like that, you lose flavor. You lose a lot of flavor. The chicken's not what a chicken used to be. So with the lack of flavor, they now inject them and pump them with a sodium solution, which adds flavor back to the chicken and adds water weight and salt weight, which now is a filler, a preservative. Even if it says natural on the box, on the label, even if it says natural, they're still allowed to pump it a so-called natural salt solution into this bird. Some producers do a lot more than others. Some producers really push it. And I, I, I know as soon as a person comes into the restaurant and they're like, you know, your chicken just doesn't have flavor. I know exactly that they've been eating chicken that has been totally pumped to the max because that's how restaurants, chain restaurants, a lot of restaurants can grill off a chicken breast and let it sit there and have it still be juicy because the chicken breast, folks, is pumped. It is pumped beyond belief. Um, so you get what you pay for. All right. So the, the breed makes a difference how they've crossbred this thing genetically altered it. So it now is huge breasts, no flavor. Um, so the quantity, the way it's produced, the breed, um, all this makes a massive difference. So when you go to the store and you see chicken breast, that is $2 a pound and chicken breast, it's $5 a pound. Um, the price isn't that far of a difference off because a $2 one, I guarantee you, is pumped beyond belief and it's going to raise that price significantly closer to the $5 pound one. That's just, that's just you know, the law of, of economics here. That's what's happening. Um, so, but it was really interesting to see what was happening with my pets, with my dogs, with cheap chicken. I mean, I was, I never, I, for, I, you know, you know, this stuff is bad. You know, cheap food, we all know cheap food is bad for us. You are what you eat. We all know that. But to actually experience the dog having a reaction time and time again from giving him this chicken. I even called the sales rep and I was like, just want to let you know, but this is like what's happening. And I've like done a strict elimination diet, journal this, figure this out. And like clockwork, you give the dog the cheap chicken and the dog has diarrhea all over the place. And the cat too. It was literally insane, folks. So again, you are what you eat. There is a reason why food is cheaper out there. Total reason why food's cheaper. Um, it's just the law of economics. You, you To make cheap food, you have to cut lots of corners and add lots of fillers. So that's just my chef on a mission tip right now based upon a little personal experience that we had uh, in the last month or so. Um, remember, you get what you pay for, folks. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support. And until next time.